A Rutgers University Ocean Lab has joined the response to the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, coordinating data from autonomous underwater robots recently deployed to the Gulf. Uh, we call them gliders because they actually glide from the surface of the ocean to the bottom of the ocean, and they make measurements of temperature, salinity. We can actually put a whole host of different payloads in there to measure all different types of parameters about the ocean. The RU Cool team, a group of faculty and students from the Coastal Ocean Observation Lab, sent the mini submarines to help determine the flow of the oil spill at the request of NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Every six hours we've programmed these gliders to surface, pop their antenna uh, out of the water, they check their GPS position, they phone home uh, via satellite phone, and call into this computer here. Uh, they tell us that they're okay, they check their email, see if we've left any new positions for them to go to, and then they go about their business after they've downloaded their data. The data is monitored inside a control room at the Institute of Marine and Coastal Sciences in New Brunswick. This is the cool room. It's the most advanced ocean observatory on the planet. Where students and staff observe large colorful screens displaying the information transmitted by the gliders. Something about the ocean conditions, the temperature, the salinity, and the currents. That tells us where the oil might be going. Here's where the oil is spreading. It's, it's within this dark line. So here's the main spill up here. And then some of that oil that they're worried about could be getting into the loop current itself and be evicted out of the Gulf and up towards the East Coast. The sub-like vessels are about six feet in length, are low maintenance, and run on very little power. What's great about the gliders is they don't get seasick. They don't complain if they miss a meal. So we can send them out in all types of conditions. They run on about three Christmas tree lights of batteries uh, of power. And so as a result, they can sustain a presence offshore for long periods of time. Despite being hundreds of miles from the Gulf, Rutgers is playing a leading role in the environmental crisis by coordinating data not only from their two gliders, but from other gliders deployed by other universities and organizations as well. When we see an event of this magnitude and this scale, we want to be able to help. And this is the way we can help. It's, it's what we have the experience of doing. This is Thomas E. Franklin for NorthJersey.com.